Good evening, parents, guardians, family members, and friends of the Academy of Virginia Randolph's graduating class of 2024. I am Ms. Adria Mayo, one of the associate principals at ABR. I would like to thank you all for being here to celebrate this momentous occasion of graduation and the joyous milestone our students are crossing in their lives. This day marks the completion of one of the many chapters in our students' lives, and we are so honored and proud to have you celebrate this accomplishment with us this evening. In just a few moments, our graduates will begin to, the procession. The administration, faculty, and staff of the Academy of Virginia Randolph, thank you in advance for your cooperation in making this a memorable time for all of our graduates and their families. Please rise and welcome the graduating class of 2024.
Gentlemen, please remove your hands. Please rise for the pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may now be seated. At this time, I will turn the program over to Dr. Eric Andrusser, the principal of the Academy of Virginia Randolph. Thank you to the J.R. Tucker High School, J.R.O.T.C. Thank you. At this time, I would like to welcome and introduce our stage guests platform guests. Please stand when your name is called and remain standing. I would ask the audience to please hold your applause until all guests are introduced. Representing the Verina District from the school board, Chair Ms. Alicia Atkins. <laughs> Representing the Fairfield District, Mr. Ryan Young. From the Board of Supervisors, representing the Three Chop District, Miss Missy Whitehead. <laughs> Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Amy Cashwell. Other stage guests, Mr. Paul Adams Jr., Associate Principal at ABR. <laughs> Miss Adria Mayo, Associate Principal at ABR. And Mr. Corey Lamb, Director of School Counseling. I would also like to ask all central office staff joining us this evening to stand at this time and be recognized. And I am the proud principal of the campus of Virginia Randolph, Dr. Eric Armbruster. <laughs> the administrative team would like to express our appreciation to the speakers and distinguished guests for joining us today. We appreciate you taking time out of your schedules to make this day special for all of us. Now, Mr. Ryan Young will bring greetings from the Henrico County School Board, immediately followed by Ms. Misty Whitehead, representing the Board of Supervisors, and finally the Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Amy Cashwell. Good evening, parents, faculty, staff, and most importantly, class of 2024. I am honored to bring greetings on behalf of the school board and extend our heartfelt congratulations on, this, on reaching this incredible milestone. Today, we celebrate your hard work, dedication, and perseverance that have brought you to this moment. Your journey at the Academy of Virginia Randolph has equipped you with skills, knowledge, and the confidence to face the future with optimism and determination. As you step into the next chapter of your lives, remember, you have the power to achieve great things. Embrace the opportunities ahead, stay curious, and never stop learning. And most importantly, believe in yourself, follow your passions, and never, never lose sight of your dreams. Denzel Washington said it best, without commitment, you'll never start, and without consistency, you'll never finish. Stay committed, stay consistent, and we can't wait to see the positive impact you will make on this world. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I am so honored to be here tonight on behalf of the Henrico Board of Supervisors, um, and I bring greetings from my colleagues that are not here today. You know, this school, Virginia Randolph, is not in the Three Chop District, but I, I have to confess I, I feel a special kinship um, to the school because in my professional uh, work outside of the Board of Supervisors, I work with young people and their families a lot. And I've had a number of young people and the families that I've worked with that have found a home at Virginia Randolph when they struggled to find a home 
in other schools, and I have personally, excuse me, personally witnessed um, the successes that can come out of a school like Virginia Randolph, and so it makes me so proud. Um, I could go on a lot about this, but I won't because my job is just to bring the greetings here today, but I just want to express to all of you how very proud um, we as a county leadership are of you. I know that the pride demonstrated by your village here in the uh, auditorium shares that. And I would just encourage you, you know, everybody's path is not a straight line, it's not linear. My path wasn't a straight line or linear and when I had a child of 15 years old, I had many people telling me that I would never graduate high school or go to college or go to law school and certainly never serve an elected office but I knew that education would be my pathway out. And so as you all sit here today with this first milestone in your hands, this diploma that nobody can ever take away from you, nobody can ever take away from you the fact that you have graduated from high school, remember that and hold on to that. And this feeling of accomplishment that you feel tonight as you are graduating, hold on to that and remember that. Chase that feeling for the rest of your life and don't just chase it, but catch it time and time again until you rack up the successes and the accomplishments. And for those of you in the audience, the village, the pride that you feel with your young people tonight, remember that as well. And even when they frustrate you and, and you feel a little discouraged, encourage them because you've seen just a glimpse of what they are able to do even as they sit here tonight. So again, so, so proud of all of you. Continue to strive and reach forward. On behalf of the Board of Supervisors, congratulations. <laughs> Such powerful and encouraging remarks from Mr. Young and Mrs. Whitehead to kick off this fantastic celebration. And it brings me so much joy and pride as your superintendent of schools to join all of you here this evening, our distinguished stage guests, the administration, the incredible faculty and staff of the Academy of Virginia Randolph, and of course your family, friends, and supporters <coughs> to celebrate you our class of 2024 graduates. I have no doubt you have encountered a number of challenges along your school career. Hopefully, you feel a uh, lot of success as you're sitting here this evening, and I hope that you will take a moment to sit in that feeling of joy and really feel incredibly empowered by what you've accomplished and think about all of the things that we're gonna accomplish going forward and know that the entire Henrico County Public Schools family and team are cheering you on uh, as you leave us. You're always a part of the Henrico Schools family. Congratulations and best wishes. Thank you, Mr. Young. And Ms. Whitehead and Dr. Cashwell for your comments and special remarks. I would also like to recognize at this time and introduce our counseling team here, Ms. Uh, Latoya Brown, you stand up, as well as Ms. Theresa Ford. Our speakers this evening are Ms. Spirit Kurtzley Mathis. Thank you for leading the pledge. Where's the Also, uh, we uh, thank you. Also, at this time, I would like to turn the program over to our 2024 AVR class president, Ms. Sequoia. Growing. 
Our teachers and staff did a teaching subject. They taught us resilience, perseverance, and self-worth. They saw our potential even when we couldn't see it ourselves. For that, we owe them our deepest gratitude. Throughout our journey at ABR, you have gone above and beyond to ensure that every senior has what they need to succeed, both academically and personally. Whether it was staying late to provide extra support, lending a listening ear when we needed it most, or simply being a source of encouragement and motivation. You have always been there for us. You have been more than just a senior sponsor, school counselor, teacher motivator, or midnight hour supporter. You have been a guiding light, a source of inspiration and a pillar of strength for each and every one of us. Your unwavering dedication and tireless efforts have not gone unnoticed. Ms. Brown, please stand up. extraordinary person that you are. You have made a difference in the lives of so many, and for that we are eternally grateful. To our families and friends who have been our unwavering support system, thank you. Your encouragement has been our foundation, your belief in us, our motivation. You stood by us through the highs and the lows, and today we share this achievement with you. Today is a day of triumph. It is a day that marks not just the end of a chapter, but the beginning of a new and exciting journey. Each of you has a unique story, a path filled with challenges that you face head over current and resilience. Today, we celebrate not just your academic achievements, but your strength, determination, and growth as individuals. We have learned to think differently, to embrace our individuality, and to find strength in our diversity. These are the qualities that will guide us as we step into the future. Let us be the innovators, the problem solvers, and the compassionate leaders our world needs. Hello, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. All right. And in the word of Kathy Gates, go where you celebrate and not where you tolerate. Protecting your energy is not a crime. When you follow your heart, you'll always win. I am who I am, who I'm not, I'll never be. Congratulations, class of 2024. Here's to our journey of growth and the incredible future that await us. Will the candidates for graduation please stand? Platform <laughs> guests, ladies and gentlemen, by virtue of the authority invested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Henrico County School Board, and on the recommendation of the faculty and administration, I declare these candidates of Henrico County Public School graduates with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Will the graduates please turn your tassel? Yeah. Okay. Let's give them one more hand. Let's give them one more hand. You may be seated. <laughs> we will uh, we will prepare for the awarding of the individual diplomas. We're extremely proud of all of our graduates, as you can see, and ask that you refrain from applause until all students name are called, <laughs> so that every graduate can feel properly acknowledged and celebrated. Additionally, after we call on the graduates, we ask that our guests please stay through the closing of our ceremony and remain in place until the faculty and graduates have recess. Thank you. Shaden, Trayvon, Allen. Anaya Chanel Amadi. Congratulations, Bernard. You are. Jaquana Dimitri Anderson. Congratulations. All right. Janaya Jakai Bosher.
Congratulations. 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 Karan Elijah Brooks. Sequoia Rain Brandon. <laughs> Sequoia, congratulations. Thank you. Once again. You. You're welcome. Brianna Shanae Brown. Congratulations. Janisha Dominique Buzz.
give a big round of applause. acknowledge him as we posthumously award him, his family, a token of our appreciation for his charisma, outgoing personality, and achievement. His sociable nature and captivating smile will continue to inspire all he touched. Presented with heartfelt condolences and deepest respect to the Acad from the Academy of Virginia Randolph, we would like to present you this memorabilia in Aiden's honor. Thank you to Dr. Cashwell, school board, members of the Hiroko Board of Supervisors, and all the staff for participating in this special moment with us this evening, and for always being a strong advocate for our students and staff at the Academy of Virginia Randolph. Thank you, Sequoia. Where are you? Sequoia, thank you for that wonderful speech um, and spirit for presenting your class um, so well this evening. Esteemed guests, Beloved families, chairs, friends, esteemed faculty, and remarkable members of the graduating class of 2024, I am deeply privileged to have served as your principal. Warm greetings to you all this evening. Here at Virginia Randolph, we are family. We meet our students at their current levels and offer the essential assistance to ensure their success. The class of 2024, I'll miss you calling me Dr. A.B. And I'm certain you'll miss the familiar sounds of Miss Brown and Miss Canada urging you to get to class with their bullhorns blasting. <laughs> we'll miss Spirit saying, just fine. <laughs> Seeing Miss Mayo stationed in the hallway with her car collecting names for the hallway suite. <laughs> Mr. Adams uplifting you all as kings and queens in the unwavering love and support displayed for our dedicated staff. You all, let's give our staff a big round of applause. <laughs> So senior, take a moment and look around at the support you have here today. Look around. That's right, that's right. Everyone present is committed to your success. When challenges arise, turn to those here. While you may proclaim you are grown and eagerly anticipating the life of, of an adult, <laughs> life after high school will not be easy. It will require strength of character and sense of purpose. Please understand the true trials of the world lie ahead of you, ahead of you and you will need the people here to support you more than you know. Allow me to dispel any misconceptions. There is a notion by some who are misinformed that students at Virginia Randolph are troublesome and fail to complete their education. I truly wish those who doubt were present to witness this moment. That's right. However, let me present the facts. 19 of our students seated here have received college acceptances. <laughs> Our acceptances from the Thelman College, College of the University, Bratton Stanton College, J. Sergeant Reynolds College, Norfolk State University, Norfolk State University, Old Dominion University, Richard Bland College, Virginia State University, and the Virginia Union University. That's right. 
In addition, one of our students has been offered an apprenticeship, and two students will join the armed forces. Class of 2024, you have defeated the odds. You have made true believers in those who doubted you. I want you all to embrace your individuality, even in solitude. I urge each of you to seek solutions amidst adversity. Congratulations to each of you for all that you have accomplished thus far and for all that you have yet to do. You all have now earned your torch. Now it's up to you to finish the race strong. I want you to go, be great, continue to live the legacy, and make us all proud. We love you.